Hi Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for August 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. Also, because it is general, the rules can be reversed. All right, so let's see what is going on with Capricorn, overall energy. All right, we have fresh start. Okay, so pretty straightforward here. Um, something feels new. Something feels new either for you, for the other person, within the connection. Somebody is wanting a fresh start. We will get into it and see what this is about. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so for your situation, we have the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the King of Swords. All right, there's a change. Um, there's a change and it feels like somebody is either having a hard time making a decision about this change. I actually feel like the change is here, all right, just because we have fresh start. There's definitely a shift here. And it could be that somebody is wanting to take action based off of a shift that is already happening. So we'll see more when we clarify. For the recent past, we have the Three of Swords. And for the near future, we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so there was some heartbreak here in the past recently. Um, somebody was feeling very heartbroken. Maybe there was some kind of a separation. And this is why we have the fresh start. This is why we have a shift that is happening, which is actually leading to some kind of movement or somebody putting in some kind of an effort to move forward. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, wow, that is you standing in your in your power. That's your element here, just feeling very strong, feeling very grounded, very possibly even independent. <clears throat> for them, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see more about you, we have Death. For them, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and for the potential outcome, we have Strength. Okay, so, wow, I feel like the Seven of Pentacles keeps coming up for the Earth signs. So definitely um, planting nude seeds, starting fresh, that seems to be a theme here. You're definitely feeling like there you have transformed or that you are undergoing some kind of a transformation. I feel like actually you may have put an end to this or you're in the process of <clears throat> ending a connection or you just feel like something is done here. Something is just, it cannot continue on in the way that it had in the past. And so you're feeling a sense of an ending, but it's coming in like you're actually feeling pretty good about it. Um, for them, they're focused here. They're putting in some kind of an effort. Having both the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, definitely putting an effort in for something. Um, so we're going to clarify and see. We have strength for the potential outcome. So this is actually very, very positive. Um, could be, it could be them. Could be this connection. We'll see. So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the King of Swords. <clears throat> All right, we have the Two of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Tower. Wow, okay. I actually feel like this is your, more of your person's energy rather than you. Of course, feel free to switch the roles. Um, and sometimes they can be a little um, mixed and matched, okay, depending, because not everybody's situation is the same. There's a lot of love here for somebody. At least one of you is feeling this. I would say probably both, but I feel like definitely one of you is feeling a lot of love and is feeling left out in the cold, feeling like they're 
there's been some kind of a rejection that has completely thrown them out of balance, completely um, making them feel like they're just going through a dark night of the soul. I feel like it's not you. I feel like it is the other person. Um, and because of this, there, that's the shift. And this person now, for some of you, could definitely be an air sign, could be another earth sign, could actually be any, any sign. Um, we have Leo on the table, we have um, Scorpio, but could be any sign. This person is trying to make a decision or to take some action based on this change. And I feel like that change is the fact that you have overcome this heartbreak or that you have, if you have not completely overcome the heartbreak though, you are definitely processing this ending and you are definitely beginning to feel good about yourself and you are definitely um, feeling like you are starting fresh for your own self. And this has really made this person um, just feel like, like they've lost something here. So let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles for you. And again, this is not going to be everybody's situation, okay? Because I feel like it's actually very specific. So if it's not your situation, you know, that's, that's okay. So clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this has definitely been a difficult journey for you. This is something that has dragged on for a long time when it came to you really finding your own strength. You really um, finding that sense of power from within. And I feel like you're actually at that point now where you're able to, um, you're feeling more comfortable being social, being... Um, just being able to enjoy enjoy life after a very difficult struggle here with this person. Um, I do feel like it must have been a very intense connection. I feel like you know there was a lot of passion here with this person. It's definitely been hard for you, and it, you might not be a hundred percent there when it comes to really feeling a hundred percent okay or over this. But I feel like you're just like right at that finish line. Let's see death. Yeah, we got the world. Um, we don't even need anymore. This is like so clear, but let's see. And the emperor. Okay, yeah. So, wow. Okay, three major arcana cards here. I feel like you're done. You, I mean, again, like, like I said, if, if, even if it's not 100%, it's like, you're locked in on that path though to actually having a transformation when it comes to this connection with somebody here. Um, even if it's not 100% done, it doesn't matter. It might not be done, but there's a huge lesson that has been learned here. It's like you have accomplished something. You have made it to the next level, so to speak. There's a chapter that is closed. And then, you know, there is a fresh start. Maybe it will be with this person, maybe not. It doesn't matter at the moment. What matters is that you are actually on your way to being your own emperor. Taking your life under control. Allowing a transformation to complete. So let's see for your person. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. Alright, we have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, there you are showing up in their, in their energy, and the Magician. This person is definitely trying to manifest you. Um, they want to manifest you. They're putting in some kind of effort. There is something that they're doing. I feel like they're not really, I mean, with the King of Swords being the, um, the challenge here, and then also having the Seven of Wands. They're putting in the effort, but then they're also like not, they haven't taken like a, a major, major step. They haven't taken that major decision 
yet they haven't taken that action that like the big type of action that would be needed in order for them to even have a chance um, to manifesting you basically. Let's see the Seven of Pentacles, because they're doing something, though. They're doing something. I feel like it's just, it, it just hasn't been, like, the, the major, major action that you would actually need in order to even um, think about it. Let's see, Seven of Pentacles. And maybe for some of them, it could even be that they're kind of blocking themselves from doing that um, because they're going through this tower at the moment. So for the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. Ooh, yeah. It's it's kind of like they're beating around the bush. Um, I feel like it's more of trying to organize it, trying to plan it out, trying to think about what it is that they can do and trying to decide whether they can do it or whether they cannot do it. Is it, are they going to be rejected again? Is it going to make this tower essence even worse? Because I feel like there's some hesitation here with the, with the seven and the two of swords. So there is some hesitation um, on their end, even though what they really want is to manifest you, you are very much so in their minds. Um, they again, it, they are doing something. It just feels like maybe they do something and then they kind of go back on it, almost like not fully completing it, like blocking, blocking their own self. But we do have the Knight of Pentacles in the near future, so let's, let's clarify that. Because I don't feel like that is you. I feel like you are past that. You are past the Knight of Pentacles phase. Let's see. The Hierophant, the Moon, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has not let you go. This person is still holding on to you. Um, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of hesitation. There's a lot of doubts. Um, definitely feeling like, like they would want this with you, all right, with the Hierophant being here. Um, and that's the thing. It, it just keeps feeling like they are moving. They are, they are moving, all right? The, major, the main energy here that we're clarifying is the Knight of Pentacles, not the Moon. It's, it's movement. It's just a little bit slow because there is this hesitation. I feel like they're just trying to be very, very cautious, just very, very careful. Again, it feels like they, they take a couple steps forward and then they kind of just stop themselves or and then move forward again and just, again, just thinking about how, how to plan this out, how to set it up trying to, they're trying to plant their seeds as well. You know, I feel like you're planting your own seed here with that fresh start. Um, they want to do the same thing, but with you. I feel like you're doing it on your own. They, they're wanting to do it with you, but they're taking just very cautious steps. Not really knowing how to go about it. Um, definitely a lot of fear, and I feel like that fear is of them, of them feeling rejected or making that tower worse. Let's see strength for the potential outcome. Ooh, okay, we have Justice and the Six of Cups. You're, you're feeling some kind of a balance coming up here. You're going to feel like justice is served. I feel like you're going to feel like, in one way or another, you're just going to feel um, satisfied with whatever it is that has happened in the past. And it's going to make you feel really, really good. Um, I do feel like this is also your person trying to make things right trying to gain that courage because at the moment it almost feels like they're just moving so cautiously, you know, it's, it's kind of like that courage is, is lacking a little bit, that confidence. Um, so I do see them picking up 
when it comes to that in order to bring some kind of justice, in order to make things right. Um, Six of Cups here, wanting, wanting that reconciliation. Um, but I feel like for you, you're just going to feel like, yeah, you know, that's, that's just going to be satisfying to you, regardless of whether you end up um, getting back together with this person or not in the long run, okay? So, yeah, that's actually pretty positive here. At least, at least for you, this is you feeling like justice is served. All right, Capricorn, <clears throat> if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. All right, and we have blessed. Okay, so you, you have divine guidance here. I feel like even this connection does in some way. There was definitely, because there were some major um, energies here, some pretty strong and heavy things. I feel like most of it is in the past, for you at least. But there is definitely some kind of a divine connection here and or just main lessons that you were meant to learn, all right? Because with this blessed card, you are not alone in this. That there was something in this connection, it was meant, it was meant to be. For whatever reason. And I do, yes, I do feel like for some of you, this could be a continuous thing that there is going to be a next chapter, um, and it's just going to be different. And then for others of you, you know, depending on your situation, you're just done. And you are blessed in the sense that things are working out in the way that they should. It's also number 22 if that um, is symbolic for anybody. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. Much love.